Hi, my name is John Raymer. I'm the Vice President of Advanced Refining Concepts out of Sparks, Nevada. I'm here to talk to you today about uh, G Diesel and what it is and how it works and what it can do for you. G Diesel is a gasified version of DF2. We take natural gas and put it in this hot tank as a reactor vessel. We bubble the natural gas up through the ULSD, number two diesel that's in the tank, and then we put it through, the vapor comes up through here and goes through a series of catalytic plates where the chemistry of the diesel fuel is broken apart and then recombined with activated methane. The vapors from that come up, go through the pipe, go through a cooling system where the fuel is recondensed back down into liquid in this cool tank. And then when it comes out of this cool tank, it comes out as on specification ULSD number two. It goes in as diesel fuel, it comes out as on spec diesel fuel, only better. After conversion, G Diesel burns more cleanly in your engine, it gives less pollution, less CO, less CO2, less NOx, less soot, less smoke, less particulates. It burns cleaner in your engine because we've gotten rid of the long chain alkanes and converted them to shorter chain alkanes that a diesel engine prefers. With the cleaner burning also is more power and most importantly for you, better gas mileage. Our customers have reported to us that they get an anywhere from 10 to 30 percent improvement in gas mileage. And what have they done? The only thing they've done is put GDs on their tank. It is a complete total drop in fuel. No change in gaskets, no change in infrastructure, no change in pumps, no change in anything in your car, in your vehicle, nothing. The only thing you have to do is put G-Diesel into your empty tank and start using it. Here in our refinery, all of our piping is color-coded according to the product that uh, we're using. Yellow pipes are ULSD, green pipes is a nice green G-Diesel fuel, and then black pipes are the natural gas that we use to do the conversion uh, to make G-Diesel. Everything comes in, goes into our reactor units, it's processed, comes back out, and goes back out to our storage system. Now, to manufacture G Diesel, we need two basic materials. First, is natural gas. Second is diesel fuel. To receive our natural gas, we come off the Tuscarora natural pipeline. It comes in, off the line, comes over to we have a series of step-down valves where we bring it from 700 PSI all the way down to 10 PSI, which is what we utilize inside the facility. The second thing we need when we manufacture G-Diesel, of course, is diesel fuel, and this is our truck rig. Now, as you can see from our truck rack, we've continued the color coding of our piping system here. Green is G-Diesel, yellow is ULSD. The piping continues all the way out to our storage tanks, which we have four of, at 220,000 gallons apiece. receive fuel, we bring it in by tank or truck from any number of common carriers. But many of our customers are delivered fuel by us in our own vehicle. We have approximately uh, a dozen or so different retail stations in Reno area that uh, sell G Diesel. We also sell to a number of county and state agencies, including uh, Clark County, uh, Las Vegas City, uh, City of Henderson, Douglas County, Churchill County. Many of these people use the G-Diesel fuel in school buses and other uh, government fleets. Clark County has a fleet of 1,400 diesel vehicles in their fleet. They've been burning G-Diesel for over a year. They have reported to us that they've uh, gained a 10% improvement in their gas mileage. 
They've also reduced their maintenance costs because their oil isn't as dirty, so they don't have to change it as often. Uh, Churchill County reported to us that there are 47 uh, school buses in their fleet have gained uh, approximately 19% in gas mileage. I have numerous letters from customers stating uh, time and time again that they've experienced improved power, better cold flow properties, uh, better gas mileage, and less emissions, less smoke, less soot, less smell. The vehicle fleet uh, for the rental cars taking you from McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas to the rental car center, every one of those buses runs on G Diesel. They have also reported an 11% improvement in gas mileage. But more importantly, the customers have reported that they don't smell the diesel stink in the air. They don't see this big black cloud of smoke out of the back of the buses. And additionally, the drivers themselves have, said, have called us up and thanked us and have said that this is a much cleaner, much better smelling fuel. Uh, the Churchill County buses, they used to start their buses up in the morning in the cold winter days and they'd have this big black fog of smoke that would fill the buses up with this really bad odor and smell. Children's parents were calling and complaining that the kids with asthma were smelling this exhaust and having a hard time breathing. Ever since they switched to G-Diesel, no more of those complaints and the parents have come back and said they're very happy with the, whatever the school did. Uh, they are very happy for it and keep doing it. Currently, Advanced Refining Concepts has one refinery in Sparks, Nevada. That is only for today. We are working on plans to finish a plant down in Las Vegas. And then after Las Vegas, we're going to be moving to Phoenix, Arizona, Salt Lake City, Utah, Los Angeles, California, and 20 other cities across the United States. We think it's very, very important to get a greener, cleaner diesel fuel out where the public can use it. The benefits of improved gas mileage, reduced emissions and pollution in the atmosphere, and better performing engines for everyone is simply too important to keep in just Nevada. Uh, Advanced Refining Concepts is hoping to be a global company in very short order. I'm Brian Bukowski. I'm the refinery manager for Advanced Refining Concepts Peru Heights facility. And um, the one thing that I think that uh, people need to know is that um, I personally have a 1987 Ford F-250 battle wagon that I paid $300 for that does not have a second gear and when I got it went uh, from eight and a half miles to the gallon on conventional diesel fuel and smoked like crazy and using G diesel I went to uh, 13 and a half to 14 miles to the gallon and almost no smoke at all um, and that's proof enough for me I live it every day. Hi, I'm Crystal Brokaw. I work in the screening room here at uh, Advanced Refining Concepts. Every load of feedstock that comes in and every load of G Diesel that goes out of here, um, I get a sample of. When it arrives in the screening room, I do a test for API, which is the fuel industry's terminology for specific gravity. Um, we have a sulfur analyzer here, so we ensure that all of our feedstock is less than 15 parts per million sulfur, and all of the G diesel that goes out is less than 15 parts per million sulfur. That's what makes it ultra low sulfur diesel. Um, the other instrument that we have available here is a gas chromatograph that's attached to a spectrometer. At least one sample of feedstock and one sample of G diesel goes through the instrument um, per day. That helps us analyze uh, the different carbon chains that uh, are in each sample. Um, the G diesel process breaks down long chain alkanes into shorter chain, more burnable alkanes, and we can confirm that with the GCMS. 